All right. So, in here, I'm gonna uh, show how to create textures um, with transparency. And I thought the best way to demonstrate this would be with like a tree. Um, so if I were to take this, and turn this sort of into a tree, And something like so. Here's my tree bark. Okay, and I'm just going to. I've already found these on the net. Um, let's see if I can just do this to get a overall quick look. It's terrible. All right, so I'm gonna have to do a quick little unwrap. And that'll do. So, Something like that. So here's my tree bark. Not gonna get too fancy with it. Um, and what I'll do from this point is I will create uh, some leaves around it. Um, and the best way to do this, uh, there's a lot of ways you could do this, but um, if I were to take one polyplane and assign a new material okay so now I've got a material on it I'll drag it off to the side for the moment and in here in Photoshop I've got this image and uh, I've created a duplicate layer because I always like to keep my original and I'm going to just quick select the outer border and delete it and now once I have it like this I'm going to save out this file save it out as a TGA and go ahead and click on the desktop save and now, here, go to File, you'll notice it doesn't work right. So we've been doing TGAs for a while, but what we want to do instead of that is we want to save this out. You could do probably a TGA with alpha channels, but the fastest, easiest way uh, without any problems arising that are unknown just go ahead and save it out as a PNG and now you'll see from the TGA you have this white background and on here you don't have any background so let's go ahead and open that and you'll see you have your leaf um, it's extremely large 
um, I'd probably want to do something like resize this to be uh, let's see if that works if I could just I don't think that worked um, Ten twenty four by ten twenty four. I'm going to copy, select all, and copy, paste, and then just resize. Uh, you get the best um, results in resolution by putting it on an angle. You can get the largest size possible. Something like this. Hit return. Save out. I'm going to save it out as a PNG. And leave. Save. Okay, replace. Okay. So now when I go back in here, you'll notice from the old one, all stretched out and weird, sort of looking from the original image. I'll go ahead and I'll just run a reload and you see that does uh, a much cleaner job and you'll notice the angle here and it retains tons of that uh, information. Now you'll notice one other thing is that it creates a transparency layer for you and that's what allows it to be transparent. So if you see here in the sphere in the little preview you notice that you have some green but the rest is transparent. So that's a great way to create textures like that. You'll notice the bottom half is black because that's where the normals are and you can't have normals on both sides. So um, if you're concerned about that, this is a little old video game trick they do. Just duplicate it. Modify freeze transformations. Yeah, probably scale negative one. Yeah. There we go. So I duplicated it, flipped it 180 degrees around, and then scaled that x at negative one. And then you see I have a leaf on both sides. And it's just two it's the same plane duplicated and now if I were to go ahead and create multiple instances of this scale it in this case I'll just leave it super large it's not a big deal um, And I get this little I just did this for fun but you get a little uh, you get the idea so now I've got this little staircase of leaves running up around this tree um, which really didn't take much time and you can see the leaves on both sides and that uh, transparency is um, when they flip when I flip the other image around it's not allowing me to select it from the bottom. I'd have to select it from the uh, outliner because it's still thinking I'm trying to select it from the normals, but it's not. Uh, they're just directly on top of one another, so um, it thinks that. But yeah, that's how you go ahead and create something like this. Um, not too difficult saving it out as a PNG, and um, you get some pretty cool results. Uh, using a transparent texture. So um, have fun with it. Thanks for watching.